Hi everyone, welcome back. We are on our last episode of Sword and Fairy, episode 36. Let's finish this. Let's figure out how the ending is for this drama. Uh, a lot of times... Drama surprise you with endings. It could have an absolutely amazing story, but the ending could be not all that great. Um, sometimes it's the opposite. I honestly have no idea what is in store for this drama's ending. So let's go ahead, get started, and finish this. Nanao, Shushu 也有很多子民受伤你们休想再染指热海树仙就已经精疲力竭若没有热海之力你想看人间才会再起吗以你的灵力攻击给他
，你怎敢？淑雪，之前为了夺取热海救治余族，我们伤害了无辜的人类，不能一错再错。我们余族。是我的责任。硕 轩， 我是个不称职的女儿。等事情过 后， 还是由你来接任少君一职。月 姬， 你这算什 么？ 向余族赔 罪， 还是发现余族现在只是你的拖油 瓶？ 硕 轩， 我虽然是祝羽的女儿。但从未生长在渔族，硕玄比我更加了解、爱护渔族，他比我更适合。银统领，你看如此可惜。可，那就请银统领。之后打开误会。I wonder if he has any strength at this point. I will follow the Sun Lord into the time limit. Shu Xuan. 进入时间禁锢，等于永求。你还小，我们迁徙海底，也能重新来过。君上是我们的恩人，我应该陪伴在他的身边。我这次陪伴在君上身边。也算是帮了你一个忙，以后我们互不相欠。我愿追随君上，一同前往时间禁锢。我愿追随君上，一同前往时间禁锢。你们，果然。都是坚强团结的战士。若璇，拜托你了，那也是我的母亲。
，小袁，早点回去休息吧。巴西带骨，夸女昌西荣誉，春兰西秋菊，长无绝兮，中古。左手都要生锈。一切，终于都结束了。是啊，余族进入时间禁锢，人间没有灾祸，这便是最好的结局。你此番元气大伤，日后要好好疗养。我们已经到西域荒原了。小秀可还记得？那日我们就是在这里碰见了朝颜和小月他们。那时候，大家都还在。就此别过吧。
人生聚散若浮萍，别勉强我。小月，自己多保重。贤妻，张爷，明秀姐，你们也多保重。你也保重。我想去找长生之树。之前被埋名禁命，虽然诅咒已经解除，但被他分居的那些寿元不曾回返，我所剩余的时间已然是不多了。就这样死去的话，即便是以后有缘能再相见，我一定是不会记得与你们相处的这些时光。我的心不甘，我与你一起。小秀，自己保重啊！先顾好你自己吧，明姑娘保重，再会。去与青山看他，但月姑娘，有缘自会相聚。月姑娘的成长，我们也是看在眼里的。我相信她，会遵守自己的本性。嗯。I I don't know. I have no idea where we're going. And she's just gonna be by herself?
时间，我经历了很多，也终于知道你当时为什么会以一人之命去换所有人的命。现如今的我，应该也算是和你做了同样的决定吧。对了，还有贤清，他这个千年狼妖，平时无欲无求，现如今竟然有了牵挂之人。他能跟朝颜走到一起，我想，也是无尽的时光。给他的成全吧，师傅，你的秀。我这把老骨头，以后还要靠朝颜多照顾。好，身体怎么样了？我，我倒是很享受朝颜照顾我的感觉。应该离那传言之地不远了吧？嗯。之树确实无迹可寻，我们都找了那么多日了，还是一无所获。此行怕也是徒劳了。这大千世界，我总能陪你找到的。可我不想找。She doesn't。既然这长生之法不可寻，那我随你一同修道，共求长生，如何？赵岩真的想清楚了吗？哇哦！嗯，这里虽然远离人烟，却也能看到无数生灵。这些花草树木也显得格外葱郁。这就是你说的灵气吗？这里的确是休养生息的好地方。好啊，那就在此修行。可是我现在……立即进师，还得靠朝颜把我扶上去才行。贤狼立即进师，看来也是没有办法帮我簪发了。如何？不过狼族的忠贞，朝颜真的明白里面的含义吗？都同生共死那么多回了，早该是时候了吧？嗯
like this ending with them and the way they show showing it, it's might as well like they almost saying this is the main couple even though it was not. But I'm glad their story ends this way. <sighs> we have some happy ending. Oh. Now what? What is she gonna do? Yisao 存在消失这世间便再无人记得你了好紧张如果有一天我有什么事你一定不要来交换我因为我一点都不想忘记你别瞎说我所有的记忆都是和今朝在一起的他不在了换一回我的记忆也没有了今朝很聪明很厉害他的寿命不应该只有短短四年让今朝回来既如此你已知晓应付的代价祝与之火延绵之间皆因我作为误回守护之师职我愧对天下却无力补偿只能补偿与今朝和其二人你的生命本已微薄你所交换之生命寿命必将短暂若是还有人愿意交换与今朝今朝还能跟随他会来的就用我的全部再加上他可以付出的代价哇去交换吧你去心意已决那便开始吧我 wow. wonder so how they both gonna stay alive Maybe her lifespan is like super long. brother and she sacrificed their life to bring him back.
，这蜻蜓挺好看的。奇怪，我死活想不起来，到底是谁答应我要给我编一百只草蜻蜓的？二姐，你快醒醒呗！你陪我去找找，二姐，你快醒醒呗，大姐，你快醒醒吧。诸位，今天啊，咱们就说说藏风原之战。话说当年啊，这藏风原一战呢、啊，正武盟为了挽救苍生，那是全军覆灭，英勇就义。诸位，那最值得说到的是谁呀、啊？谁呀、啊？谁呀、啊啊啊？那最值得说到的呀，那还得数那位以身似虎。与妖女周旋的居堂主，不知道了吧？我慢慢说来。小朋友，没事吧？没事，大姐姐，对不起，我撞到了你。无妨，以后小心一点。自己撞伤也不好。Like baby 是啊，也是小男子汉，要学会保护自己。来，你的玩具。谢谢大哥哥。哎、诸位公子，我们见过吗？应该没有吧。如此，失礼了。So the memories of other peoples doesn't come back. I thought it only erases like Chi and the older brother, but if he comes back, the memories of him should be there.
繁星点点，一闪一闪落湖面，悄悄明月照亮你含情眉眼，听心跳温柔在耳边，我许下。心事缱绻，烟消烟灭，树慢慢流年。微风吹动了新鲜，红线萦绕指尖。千古春花烂漫，月光与雪风霜，点点滴滴都难忘。啊、那些嬉笑纷争，无泪你我的模样，一一都珍藏。我想和你并肩，看一看人生。是变迁，风景轮廓的瞬间，缠缠绵绵，有我有你的梦天。多想和你相牵，摇一场春风化作永恒誓言。多想风能听见，想一想，半笑。心事缱绻，烟消烟灭，树慢慢流年。微风吹动了新鲜，红线萦绕指尖。千古春花烂漫，月光与雪风霜，点点滴滴都难忘。啊、那些嬉笑纷争。They're all in the same area together, of course. <sighs> okay, what are we all thinking about the ending? I think a lot of people will have mixed feelings with this.、Um, Like it and don't like it, or it's in the middle. <sighs> Considering, first of all, they got rid of so many characters, I feel like、uh, could have avoided that. But here we are. Then the older brother ended up sacrificing himself, which I guess he didn't really have that much to live, so he felt like, why not? And then she sacrificed herself as well. But I think maybe her like lifespan was much longer, so not just Jinja was able to come back. I think she was able to come back also. But of course, none of them have the memories, so they're technically strangers that just looking at each other, feeling like there is some kind of connection going on in there, but still strangers. Um. I mean, I do like that we have at least one couple together,、uh, gonna live forever and ever, pretty much. Then Mingxiao is just gonna be blind.、Um, the third sister is gonna be sleeping in a coma, from the looks of it. While the little one 
is just gonna be all by herself out there so i would go with this drama being like not that good of an ending i have definitely some dramas where it's kind of like right in the middle but i think this one to me leans more towards not that good i just feel like they got rid of way too many people and the story just ended up being way more sad all the way through and through for a lot of lot of people hmm I have no idea. So let me know how you guys think this end. Was it satisfying to you? Was it not so much? Or was it absolutely horrible? You know. So we are finished with this one and have more to go. So thank you guys so much for sticking around watching this drama. Don't forget to subscribe so you guys know when things come out. And I'll be back with something different. Bye.